Hello everyone, welcome back here to the Megan Moose channel. We have a rainy day here at the Caribbean Beach Resort, but we are checking out the Sebastian's Bistro tonight for dinner. So come along, let's see how the food is. So while we're waiting for our table to be ready, here's a look at the menu. It is a family style restaurant, so we will see what all we get for food wise, but I'm very excited, I'm very hungry and anxious to see how the food is. All right, guys, we made it inside. We're eating with the Doofs and Disney here. We've got Tia and Brandon, and it's very exciting because we're celebrating Tia's birthday this weekend. And look who stopped by to give her a birthday card. We've got Sebastian, Flounder, Ariel, Prince Eric, Mickey and Minnie. That's super fun, I love that. <laughs> so we're just going to see when our food comes out. And we've got some drink menus here. So I'm excited. We are all starving. So <laughs> we're excited. All yes, <laughs> we're so excited. All right, here's our first round here. We've got some pull apart rolls. And then do you guys remember the name of the salad? What did she say it was? We've got a salad here, basically. It's salad. It's got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yes, we've got all sorts of things in our salad here. So we're going to dig in and we'll let you know how it is. For our first round of reviews, the rolls were very good. We have two types of, I guess, toppings for the rolls. We've got an onion jam and a guava butter. We like the guava butter. We are, we, I think we all agree that that was probably our favorite for the rolls. The onion jam, we could take it or leave it, to be honest. So, but the salad, I, I mean, we like the dressing, so really I personally good. like the salad. Candy so. walnuts. Candy walnuts were very good. So yeah, I think everything was good for our first little round course appetizer, whatever you call it here. So we'll see what else we get. So you've got your broccolini, vegetable curry, and the cilantro rice and beans. Okay. The flame steak with the mojito relish, mojo pork with the mango sambal, and your citrus marinated chicken. Okay. Sounds good. Wonderful. So we've got a taste of the Caribbean here. Uh, we've got oven roasted citrus chicken, slow cooked mojo pork with a mango sambal. Not real sure what that is. Uh, real flank steak with a mojo relish served with cilantro, rice and beans, uh, vegetable curry, and uh, grilled broccolini. Alright guys, so as far as it goes for our main course, we've got our review. I think we've got all of the consensus in. So I personally really liked the pork. That was probably my favorite of the our main course options. I really liked the pork. The flank steak was really good. I enjoyed that as well. The chicken, we are a little iffy on the chicken personally. We thought it was just a little bit dry tasting. We're a huge fan of the chicken and everything. The broccolini, I really liked that. Um, you guys like the curry stuff? Or the... Yeah, Brandon yeah, really Brandon. likes this uh, curry. Yes. He was a big fan of that. And you like the rice too, I right? So I she liked, yeah. She liked the rice. I am not a rice, per rice person, so I didn't try that. But other than that, I think it was pretty good. Pretty flavorful, and yeah, I think we I think we enjoyed it. Okay, guys, you can definitely tell what we enjoyed because we've got a second round of the flank steak here and the pork. But one thing we will say is that if you don't like any pink in your meat or your steak, definitely let them know and ask them for a more well done option because that's what Tia and I are going to be enjoying <laughs> but Brandon this is this is right up his alley that he's is, in oh that it's pink, yes I want it walking on my <laughs> plate and I need to be chasing it yes going wait no yep that's in my belly exactly so he is very excited about that so we're gonna finish this up and then I think we've got our dessert plates over here so we'll be eating dessert soon we just had a pleasant little surprise. Tia's birthday, we're down here for that. One, we get 
the birthday card when we first got here. That was very nice. Yes. But then the waitress just brings out these little glasses of champagne to celebrate, yeah. celebrate Kia's birthday. That was very nice. That was really nice. Very thoughtful. Really cool. That's so cool. Yeah. This is just they'll things. always make your trip magical. Mm -hmm. So yes. <laughs> I really yeah. like it. Yeah. So one more time. Yes. Cheers and happy Cheers birthday. And happy birthday, baby girl. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. All right, guys. So we finally made it to dessert, and what I forget the name of it here. What caramel bread pudding? What was oh, the? No. It looks like it's still got. We're some got we stuff got. In it. Tia's gonna look up oh, on the menu here. Right. She's our menu saver here. <laughs> <laughs> this is our celebrated house-made coconut pineapple bread pudding with caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. Wow, very nice. Sounds very elegant. That is definitely more coconut forward, um, especially versus last night at, at uh, Ohana. But it, to me, it still tastes basically the same. There's hmm. just more coconut. Yeah. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Um, yeah, the top still has the, it looks like a pineapple upside down cake almost. Because if you look at the top up here, mm. that's actually a layer of oh, cooked yeah. pineapple. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, if you've ever seen a pineapple upside down cake being cooked, they literally flip it over, cook it, and then they dump it on the plate and everything comes out right. Gotcha. But that's mm. that's definitely what that looks like. Same as last night at Ohana. But I think I like this better. Yeah, it's. I think it's pretty good. All right, guys. Well, that about does it for our dinner. So we're going to give you our thoughts on our evening and our experience at Sebastian's Bistro so you know if you need to check it out or not. So what do we think, guys, overall? Did we think it was worth it? Did we like it? Or what are we thinking on it? And because Tia really wanted to check it out. So I guess what was your thought, Tia? I did. This was on our bucket list yes. of restaurants to try. Right. Never I thought I yep. thought it was well worth the money. It yep. was only $29 uh, for mm -hmm. adults yep. plus tax and gratuity. Yep. Um, but for the amount of food that you are getting. Right. If you walk out hungry, I, know that, I always say, yep. if you walk out hungry, it's your fault. Yep. It's your fault. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we were able to ask for, you know, a second plate of our favorite things. We got a second plate of the flank steak and of the pork. So, I mean, we definitely, yeah, I would say got our money's worth. And the food was good. The only thing that we give definitely a thumbs down to is the chicken. So, maybe it was the night. Who knows? It definitely looked very good. So, if it wasn't as dry... I think we would have maybe liked it a little bit more but yeah. yeah yeah so overall i mean i personally liked it and yeah i definitely recommend it if you're in the area in the caribbean beach area or just looking for some place to eat at disney i recommend yeah give absolutely it a try. Yeah. good value for the money yep yep i agree so thanks so much everyone for watching thank you Deuce, for letting me crash your dinner and for yeah i'm happy <laughs> i could be here so all right guys we will see you in the next megan moves vlog see you guys